Hello and welcome to another tutorial boiled down. Uh, today I want to take a look at real debris and what it does. I've had a lot of friends and colleagues ask me recently what's the point in giving these guys money. Well what I want to show you today is how you can get a much much better viewing experience with high definition video and audio uh, by using real debris. So first things first, what can you use it for? The main thing I use real debris for is to hook it up with Kodi. And what that means is that I get all of the premium streaming sites right through to Covenant, which makes it much, much easier uh, to select what video I want. I get a lot more options and a lot more high definition options that actually work. No more stuttering. I say no more. It's not always perfect, but the majority of the time it is brilliant and well worth the money. Uh, just to let you know, I have no affiliation with Real Debris. This is just one of the new things that I've found and that I'm excited about and that I'm using quite a lot at the moment. So first of all, what would you use it for? Well, we're at realdebris.com here. As you can see, we're in the download section. Uh, if you're a person that likes downloading, well, what you can do here is any of your Rapidgator links or your uploaded.net links or any of those, you can pop those in here. And what they will do is they will download to the Real Debris servers. You can unrestrict the links and then download them to your own machine. Uh, that also avoids you having to pay an extra fee for a VPN because everything is downloaded to the Real Debris server, first of all and then download it onto your machine, which makes it much easier because someone may have already downloaded this before you. Uh, another really, really useful option here is the torrent section. So again, you can use it in the same way. Go to your favorite torrent website, grab the magnet link, pop it in here. You'll download it here. And what it does again is it downloads its real debris servers. As you can see, I have recently here with the trip to Spain. And then you can download it to your own machine. Really, really useful. Again, avoiding having to use a VPN. And now, the main thing for this video, I guess you want to see how to get Real Debris working with Kodi and with Covenant. So let's pop over to Kodi real quick and uh, get this up and running. Okay, now that we've opened up Kodi, make sure that you have Covenant or Exodus or something like that set up there so that we have something for Real Debris to send those premium uh, streaming links over to. So the first thing we want to do once we're in Kodi is select uh, your settings option here at the top left, the settings cog. And from here, we want to go to system settings. Now you want to make sure this is on expert down here. So make sure keep clicking until you get to expert. And now we want to go to add-ons. And from here, we want to go to manage dependencies. Now we want to select all the way down here until we get to URL resolver. And then we want to select configure. Now from here, select the second option, universal resolvers. Scroll down to real debris. And when you get to real debris here, you want to click on priority. And you want to make sure that this is set to 90 and then select done. Now at this point, you need to make sure to select OK to save the changes. Otherwise, they will not save. So make sure you select OK, save changes. And from here, you want to go back to configure again. And again, you want to select the universal resolvers. And you want to go all the way down to real debris once again. Here we have it. And we want to go down to the option that says reauthorize my account. So at this point, you need to go to the link here, realdebris.com forward slash device, and you want to put in this code. So bear with me and I'll do that right now. So here we are, realdebris.com forward slash device, and this is the link that we received on Cody just a moment ago. So we're going to pop in the code that was displayed on screen. I'm going to paste that in here, and I'm going to press continue. Application allowed. You can now close this page. So we're going to go back here again. And as you can see, URL resolver, uh, real debris resolver has been authorized. So everything is good to go at this point. Real Debris is now hooked in with Cody and should work without any problem on Covenant. So let's go back and have a look and uh, see how that looks here for you. So we're going to go back to our add-on section. Now we're going to select Covenant here, which I had installed earlier. And what we're going to do from there is go to New Episodes. Just to test it out. Uh, so let's select something that we know is quite popular. So let's go on to Blue Planet. Now, as we can see, the real debris links here are in blue. You can change those colors if you want later on. I actually have them uh, set to gold on my main machine just to give it a little bit of an extra special effect. But yeah, the real debris by default links will be in blue. And as you can see, now you have all of these 1080p links available plus 720p and it goes all the way down. So you can see these are all of the premium services. And then you get down to the white links here, which are back to your old school uh, bog standard links, uh, standard definition. So you can play any of these. So let's uh, click on one real quick just to see how, that, how that'll how that look. I'll only play it for a second here for obvious reasons. But there you go. And we're going to stop it real quick. So that's 1080p Blu-ray rip of uh, the Blue Planet 2. So definitely worth checking out. So I have to say, if anyone has any questions, 
uh, make sure to leave those in the uh, in the comment section if you'd like to see any updated videos of live streaming especially anything related to cody as everything updates so quickly and with real debris i'll be showing you how to uh, troubleshoot any problems you have just make sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep an eye out for those videos in the future so any questions at all let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll talk to you again in the next one bye bye